Just because you own a generator doesn't mean it's gonna work for you during an outage because it all comes down to how you can connect it to your house. And in this video, I'm gonna show you three different ways to do that that'll get the job done and run things like your refrigerator, your heat, and other hardwired circuits. But this video is different because I'm gonna show you how to do it using a smaller type generator. And we're even gonna use a battery model like this, but everything you'll see will also work in a small gas generator as well. Battery generators and power stations have a huge advantage, and that's that you could run them inside your house. No emissions means you can actually place them near the appliance that you want to run. So this is very easy to do. You can plug your things right in the front, and you don't need any extension cords. Now, I know this is super easy, but for many people, this is the simplest way to use your battery generator to run your things. Now, this isn't going to help you if you've got a gas-powered unit, because you'll need to place it outside. And even with a battery unit inside the house, the other limitation is you can't run anything that's too far away. Now many people will just go out and buy a bunch of extension cords because that seems like a great solution. But I've got a better option that makes that a lot easier. These are 25 foot cord rails. These are inexpensive and the benefit here is that you run one cord, but you'll get four plugs on the other end. And this works really well if you're gonna place this say in the center of your house. Now you can run say one or two of these to other spots and you'll get four outlets in each location. The other benefit is this model also includes a light so that you'll know when the connection is good. And these have some huge advantages over just an extension cord because when they're not in use, they reel up quickly and now you can store them in a small amount of space. This one's old and you can't get it anymore, but I've linked a newer updated model in the description. But it still has one limitation. You can't run things like a heating system or something else that's built in. This is called a transfer switch, and you might have heard of these before, but this one is different. This is a smaller switch that's designed to work with smaller generators. You can directly connect your battery type unit or a gas unit to the switch for instant use. And if you're capable, you can easily install this yourself in under an hour, or you can pay an electrician. When your power goes out, using the switch is easy. If you've got a battery type unit, set it up nearby. And if you've got a gas unit, of course, start it running outside. And now you'll need to get your next item, which is a heavy duty extension cord. Just plug one end into your generator and the other end goes into the bottom port on the transfer switch. Now at this point, you've made that safe connection to feed the power in and all you've got to do is flip those switches. Now if you look closely, you'll see they have three different positions. It says off in the middle and on the bottom it says line and on the top it says gen. Line is meaning the street power and that's where they would normally be. The middle position is just off, but when you flip them to the gen position, now you're feeding the power from your generator directly into the circuits. And now I can run my refrigerator and maybe some other circuits like lights or a microwave that are tied directly into those circuit breakers. And this is the only safe and legal way to directly feed power into your house. But there is one other way to tie directly into your house, and that's to do something called backfeeding. Now, some people think backfeeding is great, but it is totally unsafe and completely illegal, and you can actually kill yourself or someone else. When you backfeed electricity into a panel, you're forcing it into the electrical system, and that's because it goes beyond your house. It actually can go back up onto the pole and onto the lines. Now, when those guys are working on the lines when the power is out, that electricity can kill them because they're not exposed expecting any power to be there. The transfer switch is safe because those switches break the connection to the outside world, so your generator's power will never go out beyond your house. The biggest question is, does any of this even make sense to use a small generator like this using a battery to run your heat or a refrigerator? Well, it absolutely does because it works. Now many of you might think it's impossible or there's no way it could work, so I've put together a basic test to show you the kind of results you can get. Now this is a LEOC 2000 watt power station, battery generator, whatever you want to call it. There's electricity coming out of it and you can use it in your home. But now you'll want to know how long can you run things like your heat in a refrigerator. Well in my house my refrigerator is about 10 years old, my heating system is 20 years old, and it uses oil as its primary fuel. You're never going to be able to run electric heaters for long with any type of generator because you consume a massive amount of fuel. But most people don't have electric heat. So in a typical house like mine, I connected this battery generator up and I ran it for as long as I could. But the problem was with my fridge and my heat on, I actually wasn't drawing enough power so this test was going to probably last for about 12 to 14 hours. So I decided to go ahead and connect up an electric heater 
to the front of the unit. That way, instead of drawing this 150 to 400 watts, I boosted it to about 1100 watts. Now that was a continuous draw and I could run it for about two and a half hours. Now you might think that's not very long, but remember, had I left it with what I just actually needed, which was my heat in my refrigerator, it could have run for well over eight hours. That's really impressive for a small unit like this. And this Leoc unit you're looking at is a 2000 watt battery type generator. I have a full review on this, but if you're looking into one of these for yourself, this thing is being sold right now for under $1,000, and for the amount of power and specs it has, it is the best on the market. So hopefully you liked this video, gave you a little bit of information on how to better use one of these small units in your home, and also showed you the type of real world results you can get. And I hope you liked this video and found it helpful. If you did, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you're not already for more videos coming up.